Hi, I'm Jennifer Durward. I'm a psychiatric nurse practitioner that practices up in um, rural Montana, about 40 miles away from the Canadian border. And so how I ended up learning about NLIGHT was actually a year ago uh, about the importance of methylfolate and methylation in helping people uh, be able to treat their depression um, more efficiently. Uh, without having to use an additional SSRI or a, a TCA or even an SNRI or even um, as a third line uh, an antipsychotic. So with my practice I use the PHQ-9 uh, which is a patient questionnaire on depression. It's nine questions based off the DSM-5 and every patient uh, who's able to do it, if not they have a guardian that can fill it out for them. Uh, if their levels uh, which most of them are mine, are usually a moderate to severe depression. I, I get that baseline. And then when I started adding NLIGHT, the one thing I noticed with their PHQ-9s is they significantly uh, started to decrease. Uh, the troubles with most depression is uh, we were able to get majority of the hopelessness, the depression, uh, the insomnia under control, but the one that was always remained residual was the, the fatigue. So and by adding the NLIGHT, I noticed I was able to uh, help Alleviate, alleviate the um, symptom of fatigue and actually get them to what I would call about a 99% recovery of, and keep them in recovery. There's patients that I do have uh, some really good success, uh, success stories is uh, an individual in her 40s, uh, Caucasian, and uh, history of uh, treatment-resistant uh, depression, tried numerous SSRIs, SNRIs, uh, and even NRIs and occasional TCAs. She's been on uh, psychotropic medication of, uh, of uh, antipsychotic, and uh, she still complained of issues regarding her premenstrual dysphoric disorder and her uh, fatigue. And for her long standing period of having the significant mental yeah. disorders, including borderline personality disorder, when I added the uh, and light to it, she for once in her life explained that she actually felt normal. And when we hear that from our patients, feeling normal, uh, that's probably the biggest reward that we can have because everybody's normal is different. Uh, other good success stories I've had is with a 62-year-old Hispanic female, uh, treatment-resistant depression, uh, further diagnosed with uh, bipolar 2, uh, and was on Risperdal and continues to be on Risperdal. She was started by another provider on this medication, but I inherited her. And uh, she did fairly well. She ended up back in the hospital, which I cover inpatient as well. And we ended up starting on Effexor and ramping that dose up with close monitoring. She did somewhat uh, come out of it. Uh, she happened when in the hospital, we gave what we call a vitamin bag, and it did perk her up enough. Um, she started eating again because she was borderline catatonic. And when she uh, was more stabilized, we discharged her home and she followed out outpatient wise. By then, I had been using NLIGHT for quite a while and I decided, well, I'm going to give it a try and see how it works. So she's on NLIGHT. Um, granted, she's not back to her, her original baseline, uh, but she's more functional. She's able to not use her wheelchair as often. She can up, get up around the house, do things around the house, interact with her husband more, and her affect has greatly brightened. Now she continues to be on the Risperdal and the Cymbalta, along with the NLIGHT, and even her husband, who does come to her visit with her, has commented how much uh, she seems to continue to improve. And she's at least four months into now using NLIGHT and continues to uh, progress in an upward motion. With NLIGHT, it's recommended if anybody who is childbearing age on um, diabetic medication, mood stabilizers or seizure medications, um, or even birth control are better off using NLIGHT as well because those medications actually they hinder, of, they hinder the synthesis of folic acid. And here you have these medications that we've been using for years um, that actually block enzymes. So it's kind of hard to expect somebody's depression to improve when their uh, tank is already half full and it only has a capacity of maybe filling up uh, a, maybe a quarter more with these medications when their whole hope is to get a full tank of gas. And so um, by adding the NLIGHT, you're actually filling your tank of gas 
um, from both ends and therefore you get a quicker re response of being able to treat your depression.